my channel. If you're new here, my name is Alyssa. Today I have got a video all about black beans and I'm gonna show you how to make two delicious black bean recipes. One uses canned black beans, the other uses black beans that are dried, <laughs> dried black beans, and it's how to cook them from scratch to make them so delicious. I also have a post that I've linked down below that has a bunch of other ways to use canned black beans, or if you use the cooked beans that I show here, you can swap those in and out. But basically, if you love black beans, which I love, they're my favorite kind of bean, then there is honestly so many things that you can do with them. This is just two of my favorites. So if you do wanna try either of these recipes, they're linked down below for you. And before we dive in, I would love to invite you to subscribe. If you're new around here, all you have to do is tap the red button right below this video that says subscribe. Otherwise, let's go ahead and get started. So first I'm gonna show you how to make my Instant Pot spicy black beans. We're gonna add our dried black beans into our Instant Pot, followed by some chopped up jalapeno, chili powder, cumin, garlic powder, cayenne, salt and pepper, then some vegetable broth and some water. Give it a quick stir to make sure everything is combined, then pop your Instant Pot lid on and you are gonna set the pressure to high and cook it for 30 minutes. Then you'll allow the pressure to naturally release for 20 minutes and then you can press the button and let the pressure release the rest of the way. From there, just remove your lid and give it a stir. If there's too much liquid for you, like you don't want them saucy, you can drain some of that liquid off. I love saucy black beans, so I like to leave it in, but again, that's kind of up to you. And you can just serve them as is, as a side, or like I said, you can use them like you would in any canned bean recipes. So good, a little bit spicy and delicious. Next, we have our black bean breakfast burritos, and apologies for the text, I couldn't find my original footage, but we're gonna start by spraying some cooking spray onto a pan, add in two eggs that you have scrambled, cook the eggs until they are mostly cooked, then we're gonna add in some kale and our black beans. Give that a stir until the kale is wilted and the beans are hot. Then you can add in some jarred salsa. Again, give it a stir. Then set this aside and we are going to heat up some tortillas. These are the tortillas that I was using, but you can use any kind of tortillas that you like. I like to wrap mine in a dish towel and then pop them in the microwave. It just makes them easier to roll. Put some of that egg and black bean kale mixture down on your burrito. I like to sprinkle it with a little bit of vegan cheese. The final step that I love doing with my breakfast burritos is actually crisping them on both sides. So I just add them back into that skillet with a little spray, cook them on both sides until they're golden brown, and then they are nice and crispy. You can keep these for meal prep in your fridge, reheat them in the microwave or in the toaster oven. I like to just dip them in a little bit of salsa or maybe some guac. They are seriously so good, so easy to make, and like one of my favorite breakfasts. And there you have it, my friends. That is two awesome ways to use black beans. And I hope you give these a try. I love this method for cooking black beans in the Instant Pot. This gives them that like saucy consistency. They're spicy. They are so good on top of burritos or in tacos just eaten as a side dish, you really can't go wrong. And of course, if that is not something that you wanna do, you can always just use a can of black beans in the other recipe. And like I mentioned in the beginning, I do have a blog post that shares even more black bean recipes, so if you need a little bit of inspiration, check that out. I wanna thank you for being here. I wanna thank you for taking time out of your day. I know you're busy and I appreciate you spending time here on my channel and watching my videos. It means the world to me, so thank you. If you are new around here and you enjoy healthy recipes like this or healthy lifestyle content, low waste, sustainable living content, etc., I'd love to have you join our community. All you have to do is tap the red button that is right below this video. Otherwise, I hope you have a fabulous rest of your day and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Thank you.